Come on, Capricorn. This is G1 Radar with G1 Insights. Let me make sure that you guys can hear me well. Hold on. Give me one second. Uh, there we go. Everything should be fine now. <laughs> so, hi, Capricorn. Sorry about that. Me and my was doing homework. <laughs> so, Capricorn, this is G1 Writer here with G1 Insights. This is your career, health, life, money, overall energy, even love, okay? This is your overall energy for the month in November, ending in December. I mean, going into December, okay? So, let's get into this, Capricorn, because it's some really, really juicy stuff, man. Juicy. Okay, now it looks like the universe wants to encourage you to get back into some type of creative field, okay? Whether for you this is verbal, uh, maybe you guys like to write, maybe you like to sing, maybe you like to dance, any type of form of communi creative communication, okay? The universe wants you to tap into that energy more, okay? Because it seems like here there's a lot of passion and this the passion that is here needs to be deeply expressed this season, okay? Now, I tried to do your reading um, a little while ago and it was not working. Um, so I tried to just clear my energy and start over and here we are, okay? However, Capricorn, I also see prosperity here. So, the Archangel Gabrielle is saying, you know, to basically make time to round down your thoughts in a journal or, you know, get a pen or read an article or put together an article, um, start to write that book that you've always wanted to write, begin to um, write that poetry again, any type of form of creative expression, okay? Please get back into that. Or this could be even something as simple as a business plan, a proposal. Maybe you guys are writing down your goals or things that really matter to you. Maybe you guys are just putting together some type of maybe an emergency business plan or something that can, not emergency business plan, but emergency funding plan where you can begin to learn how to budget money more, um, by writing everything down, keeping up with your finances. I feel like for the month of October, it was really like a month of um, being receptive for you. But I feel like some of that energy is still going to be lingering into the month of November. At the end of the month, we had a full moon in Taurus. Okay, Venus also went retrograde in the month of October. So that had our emotions like a little intense, floating all over the place. Um... Sorry, guys. Somebody's blasting music outside. <laughs> so, this is going to have your emotions, like, a little bit of all over the place, okay? But going into the month of November, we're still dealing with some of that Taurus full moon energy. So, things may seem or may feel a bit intense as the early on days of November. But getting to November 6th or 7th or 8th, give or take a day, we are expecting expecting a beautiful new moon in Scorpio. The new moon in Scorpio is wonderful for you, Capricorn, because in October, Scorpio sextiled you, okay? Their energy was perfect. It was all about having fun and being curious, wanting to try something new. And in the month of November, you get to move forward with this particular project or whatever it is. You get it. Like, you get the golden goose, <laughs> Okay, so everything is literally working out in your favor. However, it's just that those first few days of November can be quite tricky, okay? And even probably quite annoying for some of you. There could be legal issues for some of you. For some of you, this could be something dealing with your finances. Some of you are having difficulties in a home or having minor disagreements about money in the home. Um, this could even, if it's not necessarily a disagreement, then it may just be you, um, being overly focused on your money, okay? Um, which really doesn't surprise me, Capricorn, because that is you. You will focus on something until you got what you need. You are determined to make sure something works out for you, okay? And because you are the master of manifestation, I feel like all of this worry that you're having right now is really not that serious. Like, you already know what to do, Capricorn. You have done it many, many, many times. And 
I have Capricorn in my birth chart, so I know and I completely understand what you guys may have been going through. For each and every last one of you, the energy is going to play out differently. But I will tell you that by the end of November, you guys will be feeling much more productive, okay? Much better. If you have been feeling like you haven't really been receiving that type of support lately, um, if you feel like you haven't really been really supportive lately or someone has not really been that supportive of you, or if you feel like a little out on edge here and you're just waiting for somebody to like grab you and catch you, um, again, dear love, you will get that golden goose. Somebody will come to your rescue or a particular situation will end up working out in your favor, okay? So do not worry too much, Capricorn, because like I said, I do see prosperity here and it looks good, baby. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams, your dreams into reality. Not nobody else's dreams, but your dreams. What do you want to focus on, Capricorn? That is what the universe wants you to do. Get back to that creative expression. Are you dancing? Do you sing? Do you write? You know, are you a motivational speaker? What is it that really motivates you, Capricorn? You are not the same when you're not doing what you love, especially when you're a creative soul. Some Capricorns love politics. Some Capricorns just like to, you know, be like what they call a, um, an advocate, you know. Um, but I think that you guys do so well when you're doing something you love like it's completely different when you're doing something for somebody else but when you're doing your own thing and you're following your own heart and you're saving money and you're doing things because it makes your soul happy you feel so much better capricorn and you thrive better okay so don't be surprised if by the end or third week of november people are flocking to you like crazy or even by the second week actually don't be surprised if people are coming to you for assistance, if they're asking you for help, uh, if they're asking for advice. Like, do not be surprised, Capricorn. So, because a lot of you have been feeling like no one sees you, right? And you've been feeling like that for a while. But I promise you, your day is coming, my love. I promise you, your day is coming. But you have to have faith, okay? So, Archangel Azriel is also here and letting you know that I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal, my love. So no matter whatever it is that you are going through physically, financially, dealing with your health, okay, emotionally, have you been stressed out lately? Have you not really been taking that good care of yourself? This is going to be one of those seasons where you get the golden goose, where you get to like, woosa. Okay, you get to relax, okay? And I know that it's hard because you guys work hard, man. And it's hard when you're working and doing everything and doing what everybody else wants you to do. And you're not feeling like you're getting the recognition that you deserve, you know? For a lot of you, the pressure has been on, man. For a lot of you, things overall has been okay, right? I mean, you may have had some minor, you know, obstacles that occurred in September or October, but overall, you can't really complain, right? I mean, it's not something that really can't be fixed. It's just overwhelming because you don't feel like you have support or you don't feel like no one is there. But people are watching. People do see you. They see your effort. They see your energy. They see the love and your devotion. They see it, Capricorn. They see your loyalty, okay? So what you have to do is remind yourself I am the master of manifestation. I don't take no for an answer. I'm good at this. I'm great at that. I know how to do this. I know that I'm great, right? You have to remind yourself of that, Capricorn. No more self-doubt, okay? Now, when it comes to love, it looks like there is a lot of passion, okay? Speaking of passion, Venus is the planet of beauty and wealth and everything great right it is finally going direct here in november november 16th give or take a day it is going to go direct october 31st venus took his turn and went back on home to libra which is his home sign right so if you have any libra energy or air energy in your birth chart when it comes to love or when it comes to your your uh, money house or your career sector, right? Um, you may want to check out your birth chart to see how this energy is going to affect you. 
okay? Mm -hmm. And I can help you with that if you would like me to, Capricorn, but I want you to know that it is going to be a really interesting season with Venus finally going home to Libra and with Jupiter still hanging out acting crazy. <laughs> November 7th, like I said, we have that new moon in Scorpio, but then... And that's going to help you out a little bit. That's going to help you when it comes to your career and your money choices and your networking ability. That's going to really help you out when it comes to your finances because Scorpios love stability and so do you. So this is really going to amplify, you know, the way that you think about money or strategize how you... Um, how you, you may decide to open up a stock, you may decide to invest in something, you may decide to uh, put away some money and not spend it. You may choose to say, you know what, nope, I'm going to be strict, I'm going to have stability, I'm going to be um, strict with myself, I'm not going to spend unnecessary money. Um, which I don't really find that hard for you though, Capricorn, because you don't you like stability as well. So I don't really see you guys being the type that's like completely flashy that just like to spend money. Now don't get me wrong, we do have some Capricorns that depend, like I said, depending on what's in your birth chart, they can be like quite you know flashy. But most Capricorns are very reserved and uh, very particular when it comes to spending money. So I don't see that really being a problem for you, especially with prosperity being here. I feel like, yeah, I just see you guys doing something, coming up with some type of strategy to not just make money, but to maintain that money, okay? Finding a way to keep that money flowing, okay, is what I feel for you, Capricorn. So, but when it comes to love, like I said, there's a lot of passion, a lot of romantic feelings, a lot of you are deciding if you want to move forward with this relationship for those of you that are single, okay? Um, this might be a good time to, like, there's nothing wrong with dating, but I wouldn't make any type of serious commitment to whether it is to leave someone or whether it is to um, get married to someone. I wouldn't necessarily make a drastic decision just yet, at least not until after, maybe until, like, the first week or second week of December, really. Because here's the catch. Venus goes direct on the 16th, but guess what? Their little brother, Venus' little brother, Mercury, is going to go retrograde the same exact day, like a few hours apart. Okay? Mercury's going to go retrograde. It's going to take its turn to just drive us nuts, right? However, if you guys can just study the way the planets are moving, you can literally check yourself. Okay? Literally check yourself. Okay? Make sure that you book things in advance. Because technology may be acting up, you may want to double check any type of fine print. If you feel like, look, I have to move in by November 1st, so I mean not November 1st. If you feel like, oh, I have to move in by November, um, December 1st, try to see if you can possibly push that date a little further out, if it's possible. Um, if not, if you still feel like, no, this is life or death and I have to do this, then go for it, okay? But all I'm saying is read the fine print. And this is anything about a vehicle or furniture, anything that you love, okay? Anything because Jupiter hanging around is going to make everything huge and drastic and beautiful, okay? Anything that you want to do, Capricorn, just make sure that you are reading the fine print. Do not get so excited and carried away by all of this beautiful energy that you forget your priorities and that you... Um, Forget what's most important, okay? So, yes, that looks great, and yes, you want to buy it because it's not that expensive and it's gorgeous and yeah, 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 right? However, be careful with those contracts. Mercury retrograde is nothing to fuck with when it comes to contracts, and nobody listens. You know, I try to warn you guys, but nobody listens. Well, I think Capricorns listen. I think Sagittarius people listen, and I believe that even um, Pisces people may even listen. But yeah, some other signs just don't listen and then they get mad, whatever. So if you hear your friends complaining, like if, if they're like an Aries or like an air sign or if they're like a, um, maybe another water sign, like a Cancer, because they like to be flashy too. Cancers love to dress. So if you have one of those type of people as your friends, oh yeah, 
be, get ready to listen out for them to complain in the middle of December about something that they spent their money on and they signed a contract on, okay? Be very careful of that during Mercury Retrograde. Like I said, Mercury Retrograde is going to happen December 16th, and it's not going to leave us until about that ends in that first week of December, okay? So just wait, okay? If you can, just wait. If it's absolutely necessary that you have to book a flight or you have to get this trip together, do it beforehand. That's all I'm saying. Try to do it beforehand. Look for reasonable prices. Okay, I can also assist you with that if you guys go on my website, g1insights.org. Um, there is a app, well, out, not an app. There's a link on my website that actually helps you with financial freedom. And you guys can click on that and it'll take you to my discount travel um, I can help you with that if you guys want assistance with that, okay? But other than that, okay, this energy in love is really calling for you to have some fun. I'm, the reason why I'm talking about all of this is because I keep I see honeymoon here. And that's all about vacation, going somewhere nice. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Gemini got this as well, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was either Gemini or Libra. One of these signs got this, okay? So whatever you do, just make sure that you book that trip in advance. There's nothing wrong with you and your spouse wanting to do something nice that you've never done before. Um, but please, please make sure you book these things in advance, if you can. If you cannot wait, I mean, if you cannot do it ahead of time or if you cannot wait too long, then... Just be reasonable with your prices, okay? And make sure you read everything. Don't go giving out your checking account information um, or making a promise to give somebody $500 every week and then, you know, bam, they just took all your money. Don't do that. Trust me. I made that mistake during Venus retrograde. I have to be honest. I have I made that mistake during Venus retrograde and it pissed me off. These people took $700 out of my checking account and I was pissed. I was so mad, so I'm wanting you guys to not do that. Do not, and I know better, and yet I still got excited, and I did it anyway. Do not, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, be very cautious when it comes to spending your money, okay? Now, when it comes to those feelings, though, like, if you just really wholeheartedly want to know, okay, if these, if these people are real, okay, yes, your feelings are real, my love, and it is worth exploring, okay? <sighs> Look at this. It's a lot of passion. Who doesn't want this? Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want to be booed up, okay? Yes, go for it. Even if you are dating, maybe you just met someone and they want you to meet their family for the holidays. Uh, maybe they want to take you somewhere nice. Maybe this is, you know, your first time introducing them to your family, right? Either way, this is going to be really, really exciting, Capricorn. But I feel like this type of energy is not going to happen until about the third week of November around that. Um, because we also have um, Neptune leaving Pisces, which is good because we were very, we were all daydreaming and feeling like we're floating, Right? Pisces can be very moody, and so there's probably another reason why we were always moody and cursing people out for no reason, right? But aside from all of that, that's another conversation for another day, okay? We have the sun going into fire, beautiful fire sign, Sagittarius. That's going to really, again, amplify your way of thinking when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your home, even when it comes to relationships, okay? It's going to make everything bigger than what it is, okay? Mercury is also in Sagittarius. So, yeah, this is going to be ridiculous, okay? So, we got the sun in Sagittarius. We're going to have Mercury going retrograde in Sagittarius. So, that is still very interesting, especially now if you have Sagittarius in your birth chart, either as a... Um, Maybe your Saturn is in Sagittarius. Maybe your Venus is in Sagittarius. I would really recommend that you guys check this out. So if you're a Capricorn moon sign, but then maybe you have a Sagittarius Venus sign, um, yeah, you want to pay attention to all of this energy floating around because this is going to make you feel really, really impulsive, ready to take that trip, ready to plan for the holidays. And it's going to be Thanksgiving here in the States on the 22nd. So that whole week is going to be fantastic, okay? I'm talking about gatherings, social gatherings, teaming up with your family and friends, doing something that you haven't done in a while, throw a big feast for no reason at all. 
have fun, Capricorn, okay? Because I feel like we all could really, really, really use a break, okay? Not just Capricorns, but everybody. We all could really, really use a break from all this Cosmo energy out here, okay? So, the 22nd, we, or the 21st, give or take a day, we're going to have the sun going to Sagittarius. The 23rd, we're going to have the um, full moon in Gemini. And the 22nd is also Thanksgiving in the States. So, yeah, be careful not to get caught up in any type of gossip about coworkers or um, talking about loved ones too much. Try not to gossip too much about your loved ones, okay? Um, or if you have... If you go somewhere or you have company, try be careful not to um, be careful of how you um, verbalize. You know, like um, if you're going to say something, say it, but just be careful of how it's being delivered. OK, um, with Mercury going retrograde, Mercury is the planet representing communication of all forms. Um, but it is also helping us to recapture what was once lost. So in the midst of trying to recapture that old friendship or, you know, reconnecting with an old family member, you may end up spilling something that you shouldn't have said, right? So be very careful about that. Um, or you may end up venting about how you feel about a situation that happened in the past, right? Be careful. OK, because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings and Capricorn, you can be, oh, you're such a sweetheart, but you can be so abrupt and so like dead on. <laughs> and some people miss, you know, they misinterpret your realness and your boldness for being rude and shallow hearted and cold hearted. And that is not really the case. So you want to try to prove people wrong this season. OK, just. Don't let them think that about you, <laughs> okay? Um, it's okay to speak your mind, but just be mindful of who you're speaking your mind to, okay? Be very cautious about that. So, Capricorn, again, speaking of communication, we are asking you to be more receptive this season. So, and it's not just you, Capricorn, but that's the overall energy of the season, that we should listen more than we speak. We should think before we speak, okay? And so, yes. Please monitor your communication this season. If you feel like you just got to let somebody know and you just got to let them have it and you just got to tell them off, okay, you can tell them off, Capricorn, but please do it in a very sweet, humble way. Let them know, hi, I'm very disappointed. You know, this is really bothering me. Don't go into the room and like, you know what? I'm sick of you people. You know, don't do that. <laughs> you see that approach it was very different it was like hello how are you i'm really upset and then there's this capricorn no because you need to do this and you need to do that and being very bossy you know yeah capricorn we know that you're the boss everybody don't need to know we know we get it you are the boss all right baby but okay it's still a method to everything and we have to remember this season to be humble okay we have to remember to be humble to be you know, we're going to be reminded of all the things that we love. And it may stir up some emotions. You know, it may have our emotions going from one area to the next. But you've got to remain. Okay. Try not to get too caught up in gossip, my love. Anything that is going to you, telling you to just relax, relax. Okay. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition your energy and your ability to give to others, okay? So be very receptive, you know? Allow the universe and spirit to guide you. Ask for guidance. If you're totally unsure about something or if you're feeling really misled, if you're feeling like there's no love for you or there's no support, try to reach out, you know? Your archangels are always surrounding you. Your guardian angels are always there. And they just want you to speak. They just want you to simply just talk. You know, it doesn't even have to be a long, long statement, but at least let them know, I need help. I'm stressed out. I'm tired of crying, and I feel it, Capricorn. Oh, my God, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get you guys so much. Like, your energy is so, so sensitive this season, you know? So, wow, Capricorn, be very, very receptive, you know, to those dreams that you're having, any type of epiphanies or realizations that you are having, please, please think about it and pray about it. Pray is just a form of your thoughts, so if you don't really follow religion 
And you can just simply just sit there and just begin to just be thankful to manifest those things into your life, to just be thankful for what the universe is blessing you with. You know, sometimes that is the best way to pray. I find that a lot of people pray, but they complain in the midst of their prayer. You know, if you're going to pray, let your prayer be the foundation of being thankful, you know? So gratitude, okay? Be Show a lot of gratitude this season because you know what? Even though you may not feel totally supported, how do you know that these people are not being feeling like they're supported by you, you know? So this is really about taking a step back and just being more receptive. You know, again, listening before we speak, thinking before we speak, allowing our intuition to guide us on what we should say and how we should say it and who we should say it to. You know, be very, very receptive this season, okay? Even when it comes to business opportunities, like I said, guys, you get the golden goose. You get it. You have a gold mine, my love. You get it. Like this season, you get that opportunity. You get that. So even with all the different obstacles that may be popping up every now and then, because that's what Mercury Retrograde does anyway, right? All we can do is just remember to stay grounded and to be receptive, okay? Whatever plans or ideas we have, write it down, my love. Be creative. Write it down. Let your archangels and spirit know exactly what is troubling you. Let them know. Let them know exactly what type of guidance you are seeking. Don't be afraid to reach out and say, I need help, okay? Pride gets you nowhere. Trust me. It gets you nowhere, okay? Now, this is what I want to say. Overall, overall, when it comes to money and business opportunities or getting to network or getting into the place of contentment, oh, yeah. Okay, that is why I keep saying you got a gold mine, honey. You got the golden goose and a golden opportunity. Something somewhere is being offered to you. This can be a new relationship, a new business partnership. Maybe someone wants to work with you. Maybe someone wants to go in business with you. This could be someone just simply offering you some type of money. Or, you know, the other thing what I like about Mercury Retrograde is that it does retrieve some of the old, right? So things that we lose, things that we have been waiting for for weeks at a time, ugh. So draining, right? But then when it finally comes in the mail, we are excited. We are excited. We are ready to run the world. And for you, Capricorn, I think that that is exactly what is happening, okay? There is a golden opportunity knocking at your door. So important doors are opening for you right now. And it is important that you are receptive, that you are willing, my love, to embrace the changes, okay? Walk through those doors of golden opportunity, my love. You got prosperity, okay? So I'm telling you, this is going to be one great season, okay? Follow your passion, even in your love life. Don't forget, my love, don't forget, okay? This is going to be a golden season for you. Golden, golden Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Hey, remember that song? Yeah, I love that song. I just got, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like I said, the first week, we can, we can do it. You know what? It's a fucked up week. We get it. Whatever, right? But when that second week come and that new moon kick in, I want you to begin to manifest like crazy, Capricorn. I want you to manifest it. Like, I want you to speak in life back into you, okay? That is what I want, all right, Capricorn? So, Archangel Michael, I believe. Oh, no, this is Artemis. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, Goddess Artemis want you to know that you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected, my love. If you guys have been, you know, because I also see Archangel Ezreal here with comfort. So it's letting me know that there is definitely some type of support that is needed on your end. You really are looking and searching for some type of something, my love. And I just feel like you get it. You are getting whatever it is that you've been wanting and begging for and pleading for and crying for. You are getting it, my love, okay? You is coming into fruition, my love. Just be patient with yourself. Our Azriel is here to help your heart heal. Anything that was hurt or broken, 
If you feel like this relationship wasn't working out, if you feel like your soul is just disconnected from this person, or if you feel like you're having family issues, or if you're missing someone who may have moved on, oh, Capricorn, your energy, my goodness. So if you feel like you're missing someone that may have moved on, you know, Spirit just wants you to know that you and your loved ones are safe, okay? I sense a lot of anxiety from a lot of you, Capricorn. A lot of you have been having a lot of restless nights, not sleeping well, having a lot of anxiety. Spirit does not want that for you. Do you understand? It does not want that for you. Pay attention to your intuition, my love. Nothing happens by accident, okay? Nothing happens by accident or because it was just a convenience. No, it was not just convenient. It was supposed to happen, whether it was good or bad. And so no matter what you are feeling in this moment, from this day forward, I want you to practice speaking life into yourself. Do you understand? Speak life into yourself. You don't need anyone else to pray for you. You can pray for yourself because nine out of 10, a lot of people are just probably going to wish bad on you anyway. No, you can pray for yourself. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe and protected. So whatever it is that you were having anxiety about, whatever you were worried about, whatever you were crying about, it's okay. It's okay, Capricorn. Uh, it's okay. Capricorn, I love you. Your reading was like, yay, then wow, woo. <laughs> It was a lot of different emotions, Capricorn. You're all over the place. And you don't like that either. You don't like to be all vulnerable and mushy. Like, you hate that. So it's, it's interesting to me that I'm feeling all of this, this energy from you, you know? Well, Capricorn, I love you. And I'm not even worried, honey. Look, look at this, man. Look, I'm not even tripping. You got the golden goose. <laughs> okay? You see all that gold? I'm not kidding. It's golden here as well, honey. Do you see what I'm saying? Golden. Okay, I'm serious. Live your life like it is golden from this day forward. And I promise you, that is all that you will get. Okay? I love you, Capricorn. Please share and like and subscribe. Share this message around the world because every Capricorn deserves to hear this message. Okay? And do not forget about... That discount travel thing that I was telling you guys about, or if you would just like another way on how to make extra money, check out my website, g1insights.org, okay? Love you. Uh-oh.